What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and today we're talking about this the Honor Magic 4 Pro my first foray into a relationship with Honor and spoiler alert I'm already cheating on it let's find out the good, the bad and the ugly about the Honor Magic 4 Pro Let's go. Before I get into the good, the bad and ugly of the Honor phone, subscribe to the channel. I realise that everybody has this call to action at the start of a video, so maybe this will help. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'm pretty good. I enjoy doing what I'm doing, so your subscribes and likes and comments all help. Anyway, back to the phone. The best place to start for me is with the positives. Let's list the good aspects of this Honor Magic 4 Pro. Well, the specs. On paper, this phone is incredible. 6.8 one inch, AMOLED Quad HD, quad curved display with LTPO technology, 1440p, 120 hertz dynamic refresh rate. What more could you ask for in a display? The phone itself weighs in at 209 grams, which I can tell you in the hand feels perfectly weighted, balanced, even with that massive camera ring. Solid steel, I should say, shouldn't say solid steel, solid aluminium frame with grill glass in the front and back. I have the cosmic black variant, which looks stunning. Now inside you have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, like most flagship Android devices have. It's running Android 12 with the Magic UI 6 skin on top. So again, on paper, specs, so good so far. Keeping this good positive vibe train going, cameras. A wide 50 megapixel f1.8 aperture camera which produces pretty stunning pictures. There's also an f2.2 50 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 64 megapixel telephoto lens with 3.5 times optical zoom with up to 100 times space hybrid zoom, but you don't want to use that. We'll talk about that later. And then you've got a TOF sensor, so a time of flight sensor, which helps with portrait pictures. You have an LED flash. There we go. So that's your camera, or what is it they call it? The Eye of Muse camera setup? Yeah, cool. The last thing I want to talk about is battery life on the uh, Honor. Battery life to me is such a mixed bag. It is literally Jekyll and Hyde. The battery itself is a 4,600 milliamp hour battery. Now with all those specs I'm talking about, trust me, 4,600 milliamp hours just won't cut it these days when you're trying to run this full at full phone at full power. However, on the flip side, for the first time ever, on a device, you have 100 watt wireless charging. Yeah, that wasn't, I, I didn't misspeak. 100 watts wireless charging and 100 watts wired charging. So with all those specs in mind, 
And with the charging, what I want to do here is something I don't actually normally include in a video. I want to quickly show you the unboxing. Because with Apple phones and Samsung and Google, all their flagships and basically all their phones, you don't get half the stuff that you do with this Honor unboxing. So I think it's my duty to show you the unboxing to hopefully encourage other manufacturers, let's be honest, if MKBHD and Mr. Who's the Boss really highlight the unboxings, that's gonna have more of an impact, but you know, an army of many. So here's the unboxing. So here it is, the Honor Magic 4 Pro. You already know it's going to be a good unboxing when the box is that thick because you know they're doing it right and they're including some shit that other flagship companies don't. So let's get this open. So inside the box, a nice premium black box, is obviously your phone, sneak peek at that camera module. Um, ah, there we go. Underneath the phone tray, we have a packet with the manuals, and I am going to assume, yep, manuals and a case. Which, let's be honest, super handy getting a case with um, any unique ch Chinese phones because getting cases for them can be difficult. That's just a silicon clear TPU case. That's okay. Should also say that obviously there's the SIM ejection tool as well. This will be my hmm, close to 40th SIM ejection tool that I've got in a drawer now. Now here, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, you've got your USB-C cable, but you've got a 100 watt charger in the box 100 so what does that mean it means it can charge this bad boy from dead to full in about 20 minutes let's say 25 minutes yes so while you're having your shit shower and shave your phone's fully juiced you can't beat that. Now, what you all want to see, I went for the black, cosmic black, stealth black, whatever you want to call it. I mean, straight away, it's, I went for a very glossy black finish, but look at that. Look at that camera module. The eye of muse or something they call it. It houses your periscope lens, your time of flight, your wide, your ultra wide angle. That is nice. And it is a 6.81 inch Super AMOLED Quad HD display with, I don't know if you can see it there, but that pill shape cutout, that's because it's got a 3D sensor for Face ID. Kinda like Apple, but just in a pill shape rather than, now I should have this phone somewhere, rather than that big notch. So yeah, very similar in size. The Honor obviously feels a lot better to hold and ergonomic in the hands due to the curved edges with the water flow display. Yeah, I am going to like this phone. Now, I always do this and always seem surprised when it's got juice, but of course it's got juice. The standby mode and all these phones, or power off modes, are phenomenal. Look at that. My first ever Honor phone. Let's throw it back to me in the studio. Now, before we get to the ugly, which by the way, there's a couple of things that are just non-negotiables for me and they are ultimately the reason why I am cheating on this Honor phone after such a short period of dating, if you like. Yeah, these uh, weird relationship innuendos maybe don't work with a phone. Anyway, let's talk about just the bad.
I mentioned it already, 4,600 milliamp battery is not enough. This phone has yet to last me a full day. Now granted, when you get a new phone for the first two, three, four, maybe even a whole week, you're using that device all the time. You want to test out its camera, you want to play games on it, you want to do, well, everything. You're watching YouTube videos to test out the audio and visual. You're, you're just doing everything with the phone. And to this point, it has never lasted a full day for me, normally lasting till about eight or nine o'clock at night after being taken off the charger first thing in the morning. So not horrendous battery, but when you've got a 6.8 inch screen, that means you've also got a 6.8 inch frame, which means if Samsung can do it, other Xiaomi phones can do it, you can certainly bump that milliamp hour up to 5,000, which will definitely see you that extra two or three hours to the end of the day. Now, just because you can wirelessly charge and wire charge 100 watts, which means you can charge your phone from not to 50% in about 14 minutes, wirelessly or with the cable, it doesn't matter. If I'm out all day, I don't want to have to take a charger, definitely not a wireless charger. So for me, that's no good. It's not ugly, it's just bad. Other things that are bad. I mentioned this phone runs Android 12 with that Magic UI 6 skin. Well, you'd never know. You would literally never know that Android 12 exists. Why? Well, any Android 12 phone that you've tried or I've tried, which are many, have the Material UI color palettes, for example, that will theme your wallpaper icons, settings, to the color that you choose that matches your wallpaper or your own theme. Can't do that here. Nothing. No color palettes. Okay, so you're thinking, well, that's not that bad. Android 12 also comes with some of the best widgets and functionality on any Android phone in the past. Android 12 is a huge leap forward. Yeah, you, you can't really have many widgets here. And if you want to find the widgets, then you're going to have to go deep dark into the menus. And even then, it's not the full widget list that you would get stock on every other Android 12 device that I've tried. What you have here are iPhone ripoffs, they're called cards. Yes, Honor, which was owned by Huawei and they separated. Yeah, not that there's anything dodgy going on there, but Honor um, are copying Apple by using their cards, which essentially look exactly like iOS widgets. Now, both you and I know, while Apple are trying and they are endeavor, they endeavor to get better with their widgets, they're just nowhere near as good as Android. So that's another bad thing. Sticking with customization, for an Android device, this is one of the worst skins that I've, I've used. So to date this year so far, and I'm gonna maybe get some names wrong here, but I've used MIUI 13, MIUI 12, I've used Material UI, MUI 4, is that the Samsung one? Oxygen OS, Color OS. Think that might be it. Off the top of my head. This is by far the worst for customization. And that's why you buy an Android phone. You want to spend hours just playing with icon sizes, icon themes. There is a theme store, but it's all kind of based on, it just looks like a Huawei phone. For me, Honor should be trying their best to separate completely from Huawei. Disassociate. That means improve your skins, really adopt Android 12 because you've adopted Google Play services, which is something I maybe should have said right from the bat. Buying Honor in the UK, it's a UK phone. You can buy it from Amazon. You can get it on a contract. It's got 5G. It's got everything any other UK phone would have, even though it's from China. Um, but adopt all the other Google perks and benefits like you have with the Google Apps and Google Pay. 
why not just go that one step further and use the widgets and some more of the um, material UI features. So those were a few of the bad points for me. Ultimately what I'm saying is software experience isn't great. While the hardware on this phone and the feel and for me the look is good to great, software processing lets it down. Now the ugly. There's really only one thing here that has completely ruined my experience and you may call me petty, you may think I'm being silly, on any Android device when you swipe down on the home screen you see your notifications and if you don't you can go into the settings and enable that functionality. On the Honor when you swipe down, it takes you to a global search. Now, a global search, A, no Google Chrome, a global search means it's going to search your phone for a particular app, which, by the way, doesn't even work that great. There's a couple of times I've correctly spelt the app I'm looking for, and it doesn't show it. Lo and behold, I go into the app drawer, and it's there. What the um, swipe down does is global search, and that's all you can do. Now, when you swipe down from the top left, the very top left, you will get the notifications. When you swipe down from the top right, you get that global search. So why is it when you swipe down from anywhere else, you're getting the global search? It makes no sense. You should be able to have the choice. And that is genuinely why I could never switch to this phone permanently. I am forever swiping down and because of the poor software experience you're swiping to go back and then it just gets stuck it takes a while it stutters when you unlock the device with your face which it does have a 3d sensor not as good as iphones but much more secure than most other android phones however when it unlocks with your face and you go to swipe up it doesn't work half the time when you swipe down for some reason it does. Now that's just completely counterintuitive. When you unlock your device with your face, you swipe up. If you're going to copy Apple, at least copy that part. But with here, it seems like swiping down works every time. The fingerprint. It's an ultrasonic fingerprint. It is super quick when it works. This is by no means as bad as the Google Pixel 6 experience with the fingerprint sensor. But I mean, well, you can see here, this wasn't made up. I'm I've tried a couple of times and it won't unlock the device. And for anybody wondering, I always register four fingerprints. That's two with this thumb and two with that thumb, just to make sure I'm covering all bases. And it works like a dream. By the way, tip there for you. If you don't do this, make sure you do. Add a fingerprint, twice with your left thumb, twice with your right thumb. Ideal. I guess that's my full review of the Honor Magic 4 Pro. Not a complete disaster of a relationship, but she just wasn't the right one for me. One that you'd take out a few times, but not take home to the parents. If you want to see more videos like this, or if you've got any questions about the Honor Magic 4, subscribe, leave a comment. Until I see you again, which by the way, <laughs> As if by magic, as it must have known I was going to speak about it, I will be doing a full review of this stunning S22 Ultra. And let me tell you, there'll be a lot of good points about that bad boy. Take care. Peace.